are talking The Bone Collector, 1999, directed by Philip Noyce and stars Denzel Washington, Angela Jolie, Queen Latifah, and Michael Rooker. Now, this was based on a novel, and has since this movie came out, there has actually been a TV adaptation as well. And it's essentially a kind of serial killer thriller type film, where Denzel Washington is a quadriplegic uh, ex-cop who has still got kind of a sharp brain and can help solve crimes. And uh, Angela Jolie plays a kind of a rookie beat cop who ends up becoming involved in the investigation and kind of learns to become more of a CSI in helping Denzel kind of track down this killer who seems to be leaving cryptic clues. It feels like a book is the best way I could describe it, which of course it is. Um, the idea here of a serial killer leaving these kind of cryptic clues isn't anything new, to be honest with you. We have seen films like this before. And the killer does, does seem quite sinister, at least at first, I would say. Uh, and the way he kind of sets up the bodies and things like that, you, you know, it does seem quite spooky. Although the mystique is kind of lost as the, as the sort of film progresses, I would say. Um, I did actually like the relationship between Angela Jolie's character and Denzel Washington's character. They do seem to have quite a naturalistic uh, relationship, plus the relationship between Jolie and the other police as well. Uh, Rooker seems to be like the typical shouty uh, captain that you kind of get in these films and that sort of thing, but you know, whatever. But um, the, the, the crimes themselves, although we don't see anything explicit on the scene, the, the idea behind them, because they kind of almost seem drawn out, seems quite gruesome and stuff like this. And, uh, you know, it, it, it does seem like this guy is, is kind of a real, a real mess and, and, and things. And it also is not really an action film. This isn't because, because Jolie is playing a CSI rather than a kind of a detective and things like that. She does see, it does seem like um, that there are, uh, it's a slightly different take on this kind of, this, on this kind of police investigation, at least who the focus is on. I mean, normally it's the investigating officers here because Jolie is looking at more of the after effects. It kind of does feel a little different, although it does make it feel a little bit like a TV episode. This wouldn't be a miss on an, as an episode, a double episode of CSI, wherever that is at the time. Um, so, you know, there's that. And to be honest with you, it's, it's, a, it's a real stretch to, to believe what's, going, what's happening in this film. Um, like I've said, Jodie has no formal training in regards to a CSR, CSI, but she is like, all of a sudden, just because Denzel Washington's character says so, he, she is like the forefront of this investigation, going in with no other police, going in looking at the crime scenes. It seems crazy. Surely there must be more experienced CSIs that could do this, or at least, uh, at least assist her. It just seems crazy. It doesn't seem like, uh, like I said, this, is, this feels like, oh, this will make a great novel but we won't really worry about how procedure works in real life and things like that. We'll just have this person with no training just because she, you know, she, she did a, uh, a good hodgepodge job when she first discovered the first body. But, you know, there you go. The ending as well is super weak uh, and it just becomes like a super cheesy cliche ending. Uh, and then we have the, um, the motivations of our, of our killer revealed and it just seems to come out of nowhere uh, about w what's going on with that and isn't really set up, to be honest with you. I also knew exactly who the killer was because it obviously it, it casts uh, uh, an actor that I'd seen before who was doing nothing uh, in the kind of like in the background. And we sort of see this character and well, he's I, I recognize that actor, but he hasn't had anything to do yet. He's clearly the killer. And bang, of course, I was right. Overall, it's a, a, a fine movie. It was quite entertaining. I haven't seen this for a movie for a long time. I even forgot Denzel Washington was in it, to be honest with you. I remember Joe Lee being in it, but I completely forgot about Denzel Washington's character here. Um, it was enjoyable. I think it's... Maybe... I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's just kind of... It just pips to very slightly above average, but it's... It's kind of nothing you really haven't seen before. Other, other, other movies have done a better job than this of doing kind of a police serial killer style movie. I mean, Seven's probably the bar that, 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 is, that is set really for this type of film. Six out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to you next time. Bye for now.